hi everybody. I hope you're staying safe, you're happy, you're healthy, and you're doing marvelously well. We've got an exciting one here because I, maybe it was a year or two ago, I tried out the Brainworks SSL plugins for the first time, and I threatened to use them in an SSL situation. What do I mean by that? Well, if you see over here, I have a lovely SSL 4000, and now they've released SSL 9000J, which many of you probably know as being one of the sort of ultimate R&B pop hip hop mixing consoles of all time. When they came out, I think in the mid 90s through like mid 2000s, pretty much everything was mixed on those. I remember Mark Ender moving from a 4000 to a 9000. I remember he mixed a Frey album for us with the 9000. So this is a very exciting plugin for me. So I'm gonna use it on the end of a chain of my DAW and mirror what would happen on the SSL. But this is the 9000, which has a very, very unique, much cleaner sound to it. So I'm very excited to hear what we're gonna get. So two great things about this is number one, Michael Brower helped in the development of this, which is fantastic. He's mixed a whole bunch of records for me, one of which of course being the second Frey album, which he absolutely killed. That record sounded phenomenal. So thank you, Michael, to that. So it's exciting that he is involved in this. It gives it a lot of credibility, a lot of legitimacy, but also gives it really good ears that are used to a 9J and will know how close this is. So that makes me excited to hear. Secondly, they're giving away 10 copies of this, 10 copies. So you've got a chance to enter to win 10. You've got a really good chance of winning this. So please enter to win one of 10 copies. So reading the blurb here, it says the plugin was created using the original solid state logic 9000J schematics. It was built using component modeling with the assistance of SSL engineers. So it's completely done with SSL's blessing and SSL's help. Features original EQ, dynamics, and filter sections with plugin-only enhancements by Brainworks engineers. Gives you the unique Brainworks features such as changing THD and V gain across all plugin instances. So total harmonic distortion and the virtual gain. So we can double check that in a second. Enlist the help of Michael Brow to test and match against his uh, SSL 9000J console. Shot it out against the console he uses at all times, which is great. And features powerful presets created by Michael. Okay. Now, many people make SSL plugins, and there's some really great ones out there. What we have going on here is channel emulations, and I believe there are 72 of them. So it's not just a channel strip, as it were. It is 72 different emulations of a console. So it's emulating 72 different strips. The thing is, in the world of analog, no matter how you shake it, every single piece of analog equipment is gonna sound ever so slightly different. It's not digital, it's not an exact replication. So it gives consoles kind of an advantage because there's gonna be all those different pieces of random, those wrongifying, as we like to say. So this plugin is doing it for you. If I click here from one to two to three to four you, here it is, whiz through it. 72 different variations of this. So we can just open this up and put it anywhere we randomly like. So I'll go to 42 just for the heck of it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a bass channel here. I'm putting this to the end of my bass auxiliary and this is the channel strip that's gonna be on the bass. So let's have a listen. First thing I did was just bring the input gain down just a little bit. I mean, I smashed the schnizzle out of my, my console. But I'm just gonna, for the sake of not seeing the overload red lights, I'm just gonna bring it down slightly. That is kind of a nice sound though. If you wanna hear what it sounds like destroyed, have a listen. That's actually kind of cool, isn't it? You also have a fader here, which is really nice. So anyway, we've randomly picked channel 42. Let us do a little bit of high passing. So once you go up to 45, the high and low pass function on SSL, especially the 9000, is second to none. Listen to how effective this is. I'm gonna take this control here and wind it up.
So for nothing else alone, the high and low pass is freaking spectacular. So I'm gonna low pass the bass at about 5K. I don't need any more clickiness above that. I got 46 on the bass, maybe 45. Now I'm gonna go down here on the EQ and I'm gonna grab about 80-ish and boost that. Bringing the gain down a bit now, so I'm now starting to add a lot of level. There's something about that SSL sound that kind of, I don't know how to explain it. it it's just a nice sheen that it almost has. It's probably the wrong word, but that's what I'm using. So I'm setting it to a fast release time. The ratio. Three to one. It's really controlling that high end really nicely. It's got a lot to do with the high and low passing and the focus on it, but I can bring in some of that mid range. So if I go down to mm, seven, 800. Nice. So what I like is it's a more focused version of what I want. So it's got that, I want that attack, but I don't want too much at the high end. So have a listen to what's, what this, uh, the 9J has done. definitely more consistent, it's more focused. And that high end click, 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 which sort of messes with my ears and I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, has been removed with low passing and with the boost of the mid range, about 700 and about 1K-ish. In fact, yeah, and that's really, yeah, 1, 1 and 770. And then a lot of boost at about 80, but also high passing at 45. So I've now got this firm low end around there. It's really, really, really nice. That sort of focused and control of high and high end, low end, and just the way that the compression works that gives you a really, really controlled sound. Because remember, most compressors don't have auto gain functions built into them. They may have a button to do it. The SSL does it for you. It does all the clever thinking for you. It's always been fantastic how I can just push into compression, but keep my mix the way I want it to be because the SSL is smart and does that work for you. So let's listen to the drums. One of the things that I love about my SSL, and what I love about the 9Js, and frankly is the sound of SSL, is the way the compression works. So I, let's just play this back and bring in the compression pretty quickly. Get in that right spot on the attack so I hear a bit more of that pa pa pa. I 
I'm not going to be afraid to high pass it a little bit because it focuses the low end. So I'm actually come up to 33, but I'm boosting really heavily at 57. I mean, it's got a very sophisticated SSL kind of pa pa ness to it, doesn't it? it it just works great. Now, on our squash bus here, which I do often on the console, is I have a parallel bus. It's, it's, I've copied over those settings, but let's get a little bit more aggressive. Together. It's amazing, you know, how they captured that characteristic of the SSL. It's, it immediately sounds like it's going through my console. Now, I have a 4000, so it gets a little dirtier, and I probably could back this off just a little bit. You know, you can see I'm pushing it super hard, but that's, honestly, I don't think the SSL comes to life until you hit it quite hard. It doesn't mean you should be like having a red light on solidly, and, but there's just something about smashing an SSL that just sounds musical. So let's put it on the end of our acoustics. Okay, so now I'm putting on the end of my vocal chain. I selected channel five. I mean, I could sit there and figure out what's gonna be one, what's gonna be two, whatever, but. <laughs> this is how I mix. I'll get my, my vocal settings and I'll go through the console. And typically I'm, I'm getting quite bright on it, so let's do that. Something about high end on SSL, which is quite remarkable. If I go to 10K here and boost it, three or four dB.
I mean, that's the SSL, isn't it? That's silky smooth. I see all, all of the reviews when it comes to SSL. Silky smooth, high end. I mean, it is. It's really, really smooth. You know, a lot of people design plugins where they'll take like the EQ, the high end from one thing, the low end and the mid range from others. And there's a reason. I mean, SSL have the sweetest high end. So I boosted her voice on like 7K and 10, a couple of dB on each. I mean, that bass is so consistent, it's almost too much. It's almost too good. I feel like I want to back it down just a little bit on the boost. All right, so now I have a guy vocal song. Robert John on the Wreck, Good Loving. So let's try it on the snare bus here. Okay, so let's listen to the snare with no compression EQ yet. So in bypass. Let's try the expander first. So we have a loop section here. The expanders on SSLs are just so good. The 9000 is great, the 4000 is great. It's just, I, I don't know what kind of magic and voodoo is in there, but it just, I'm getting a little lost because this sounds like an SSL. I mean, I've been using this SSL, which is also admittedly a 4000 or 9000, for about 10 years now, just in this location. And I know what it does. And it's so quick and easy to get a sound that I like. Bypass. Put some compression on. High pass a bit. The body on the bottom. 7K.
overloading it like crazy, but it sounds fantastic. Oh, let's find a random number. Channels 9 and 10 in stereo. Oh, I'm just cranked the total harmonic distortion there. Down. Maximum. So the digital mode means that I can have the channels be exact. So if I bring that there, see nine and nine, so basically the left and right are exactly the same channel, so they're identical, hence digital. I'm gonna go to analog. I like things being slightly wrong. So I brought it down there, just to see if there's any clipping. I'll bring it up on here. Okay, so I've put like some crazy mid-range in here. I'm actually exaggerating that ring. Let's just try the opposite. really interesting is I would never boost that but inside of the drum sound it sounds fantastic. It's interesting with SSLs, I will do all kinds of craziness that I absolutely love. When it's inside of the track, I can just have fun. It's super aggressive on the expander, which I would never logically do with individual plugins. But because this is how I treat my SSL, it works. It's a completely different way of thinking. It's because I'm emulating using it as a console. I'm getting a little lost in this and I feel like I'm tweaking my own console. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it's really a bratty, bratty sound. It's not super clean. It's not really super pop R&B at all. It's quite disgusting in a really cool way, which is what I love about it. I've got just a little bit of boost there, tiny bit of 500, believe it or not, which is actually exaggerating the ring, but I like it. A 
ton of boost at about 100, and then a tiny bit at 7K, and that's it. But the expander is super aggressive, and I seem to be really liking what it does, because in the context of the whole drum kit, it's splatty and disgusting, but the reverb that's, that's being sent to it and the rest of the room mics sort of bounce it out. In solo, I might not like that snare sound, but inside of the kit, I absolutely love it. That basically sounds like what the drum kit sounded like in the room. All right, let's take that very dull sounding guitar and go for it. The low mid boost is so good. Listen to that, turn it off. You know, people say this, but yes, that EQ is musical. Okay, what have I done? I've done some low passing here, about six, seven K. I've done some high passing here at about 120, yep, yeah, 120. And I boosted a schnizzle ton of two, 230. I've done a little bit of a cut at 2K, a quite a big boost at about five, and a double boost at about four and a half there. So I, I tend to do that. Let's get to the bass. I do think the low end on the nine might be a little nicer than the four in a way. It's always been the high mids and the high end on SSLs, which you typically, you know, feel like is like giving you kind of that, you know, shimmer. And that's, this has got that in abundance, but I, I've not heard the low end be quite so nice. Bypassed, in. Like that. Adding tons of energy to the mix. Really, really nice. Fantastic. Well, great work, Brainworks. Very reminiscent. Now, I've only mixed a couple of records on the 9000J. It's uh, the 4000 has been living in my studio now for about 10 years here, and I know it intimately, and I know how hard to push it. The 9J, I can definitely hear a lot more fullness in that low end. The low end is pretty darn special. So the last thing I want to try is just see if we can get some real ultra low end out of that kick. So we're just going to take all of the kick elements, this is no EQ, no compression on it. It's going to use it straight in. Wow. Low end's great. It's 
very musical. I'm smashing it, but it sounds good. Four. Great low end, really, really good low end. That's something that the nine has that's really just, maybe it has the edge on the four. I love what I like about the 4000 is I can, like I said earlier, I can hit it super, super hard. And the harder I hit it, the better it gets. You know, the odd red light, well, not the odd light, red light, pretty much every transient when it goes red, I'm happy with. It's when that red light stays on, it doesn't actually distort so much as get spongy sounding. But this, I was smashing pretty hard there and I really liked it and the low end kept full. So it's pretty darn good. So great, great work. Thank you, uh, Brainworks. Thank you, Michael Brower, for being involved in it. And of course, don't forget, you can enter to win one of 10 copies of this plugin, which is huge. So don't forget to hit the link down the bottom there to enter to win a copy of Brainworks' SSL 9000J plugin. When you try it, and if you've been using it during the video, Leave us a bunch of comments and questions below. Have a marvellous time recording and mixing. We'll see you all again very, very soon.